the, some people say the, rotation of the Earth. Which way does the Earth rotate? Here's our choices. The Earth rotates from west to east. Where that looks? East to west. North to south. South to north. Those are the four possibilities. Let's eliminate two. The two we're going to eliminate, of course, are north to south and south to north. In fact, if that ever happens, this probably also happens. And if that happens, class is canceled. Everyone gets an A. Okay? That only leaves us with, once again, west to east or east to west. Okay? There are some clues. That's the country I live in and you probably live in. And this purple thing over here is the state I live in. It's called California. It's on the west coast of North America. On the east coast of North America over here, we have all these other states, South Carolina, North Carolina, New York, whatever, all those states are over there on the east coast of the United States. See them? Good. Okay. Right now where I am, let me look. It's 11 a.m. and I am in Santa Ana, California. See this? S-A. Yeah, Santa Ana. So if I'm in Santa Ana, California, and it's 11 a.m., do any of you know what time it is in, say, New York? Or for that matter, anywhere on the East Coast of the United States? It's 11 a.m. in California. What time is it on the East Coast of the United States? Good. 2 p.m. Okay, that's correct. It's 2 p.m. All right. There's a strange thing that happens on this planet. The time zones do not move. Nope. They're stationary. We rotate into the time zones. Okay. And I just told you that at this moment, I am occupying the 11 a.m. time zone on the west coast, the purple state right there, of the United States, of North America. Is it ever going to be 2 p.m. today? I hope so. I wanna get there, don't you wanna to get to 2 p.m.? I do. Well, in order for it ever to be 2 p.m. on the west coast of the United States, what has to happen is we on the west coast have to go to where the east coast is. Which means if we are occupying the 11 a.m. time zone and the East Coast is occupying the 2 p.m. time zone, we have to move toward the East Coast, which means the Earth is rotating west to east. And in fact, don't go anywhere. And in fact, if we are approximately 2,100 miles, Away from the East Coast, we went straight across to South Carolina. You know, if you fly, you fly in a more direct route. If you're driving, you drive this circuitous route all over the place, right? But if you're flying, you're going to fly the most direct route, the Great Circle route. So, if we have three hours to go 2,100 miles, that means on the West Coast, how fast are we going? 700 miles an hour. That's right. 700 miles an hour to the east. Just so you know where you are sitting, that would be the west. That wall over there is the east in this classroom, okay? And that means that that computer that I'm using to record this is coming at me at 700 miles an hour. The chalkboard that you cannot see over there is going 700 miles an hour towards me. I am headed 700 miles an hour toward that wall. How come we don't notice this? because everything around us is traveling at the same speed, 700 miles an hour headed in that direction. Now, it depends on where you are. If you're at the equator, you're traveling more like 1,000 miles an hour because it's a longer route to get all the way around. But whatever the speed is, the reason you don't notice it is because you have no points of reference. Everything around you is traveling the same speed, so there is no point of reference. The one thing during the day that you can see 
that is not within our Earth system is, of course, the sun. And I just told you that we are going from west to east. The sun, however, rises in the east and sets in the west. So from this classroom, it goes across the sky like that. Just like that. Okay. So what's going on with the sun? Why is it going backwards? It's because the sun is not really moving, is it? What's moving is us, and the sun is outside of our system. And because of that, it gives us our only point of reference. And the illusion is that the sun is going across the sky from east to west, when in reality, what's happening is we are absolutely hauling in this direction, going from west to east, going 700 miles an hour. And if the sun is sitting out here, what's gonna happen is this. Here's the sun, my fist is the sun. What's gonna happen is now at this point, the west coast of North America can see the sun and now the sun is going away and the sun now just set for the west coast of North America. And the illusion is that the sun went across the sky like this, but in reality, we're going like this. We're gonna see this another way. If you're on an airplane and you pull out away from the place where the plane docks, you know, that, that tube that comes out, place where the plane is parked and you just load it onto the plane, and then the plane stops for a second, and you're sitting there waiting and you're looking around and there's two other planes parked on either side. And then the plane slowly backs up and you're looking at those planes. The illusion is the planes are moving forward. But in reality, you are moving backwards because everything inside the plane with you is inside your own contained system and it's all moving at the same velocity backwards. Or if you get into one of these uh, car washes, which actually is I'm going to right after this, if you get into one of these car washes and you pull your car in, which is my fist, right? And then the car wash does this, it goes over the top, it comes back, it goes over the top, it comes back like that. And you're just sitting there, well, don't go anyway. You're just sitting there. What it looks like is it looks like your car is moving. Your car's not moving, it's parked. And then the machinery is going over the top of you, but everything inside your car is just sitting there. So you have no point of reference. The only point of reference is outside of your system. Oops, sorry, clicked the wrong thing.